Hey, Facebook. Um, it's Thursday, a little after 7 o'clock. You know, this is when I do my Align Your Business with Dr. Nisa. Um, today is a little bit different. Today, I'll be coming from uh, my boutique, uh, which is another one of the businesses that I have uh, here in Macon, Georgia. And so I'm just going to turn around. So you can kind of see we just closed so you can kind of see the boutique and see some of the things that we have um, in here um, we're located downtown macon 486 poplar street um, but you know when i come in on tuesdays we kind of um excuse me on thursdays we kind of talk about you know how you can align your business and and help those that are trying to start business hey doc how you doing hey marquis hey walt hey everybody out there thank y'all for tuning in so i'm just kind of showing you on um, the boutique um and as we've kind of brought some things from outside we had a a, a little outdoor sale today but um we are an authorized vendor for uh, the divine nine as you can see we have some of those things here but let's turn this back on me all right so um dr nisa and for those of you that don't know who i am i am a chiropractor here in macon georgia i'm the clinical director of total fuse chiropractic i also um, own two other businesses here in macon and i am a business consultant and business coach and each thursday i chime in around about seven o'clock to kind of talk about how you can align your business and I had a different subject for tonight, but guys, guess what I'm going to talk about tonight? Yes, the Popeyes, the Popeyes fiasco. I'm talking about Popeyes again, because I think that we can learn a lot from what happened with Popeyes so that we don't do that in our business because Popeyes gave us this wonderful anticipation. They told us about this chicken sandwich that was coming to town, all right? But they were not prepared for the people to come out and get their product. And if you have a business and a business that you're trying to launch, you have to make sure that you strategically have your products available for the masses because you don't know how many people that may wanna come get it. And if you're not prepared, you only get one shot. You only get one shot sometimes, one shot. So if you're not putting your best foot forward, they're not coming back. So I'll tell you for me, I went out today and I tried, I said, okay, let's try the sandwich finally, okay? And I went over there and they didn't have one. They, had, they didn't have any product. In fact, what they had was a sign out saying, it's chicken sandwiches, we out of chicken sandwiches out, you know, come back another time for the chicken sandwich. I probably would have come back had a person greeted me and said, you know what? The, we had an unexpected flow of people that came in for our amazing product and we want you to come back. Here's a coupon to come back and come take advantage of our new product. Our truck is coming back in on tomorrow. And I probably would have left out of there enthusiastic about coming in and getting their product. But that's not what happened. What happened was I was greeted with a sign at the door saying no chicken sandwiches. So for me, you don't get another chance. You failed the first time because you were not prepared for, 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 for a promotion that is new. It's not old. This chicken sandwich hasn't been, been out there. It's, it's something that just started and you don't have enough product to meet demand. Has anybody thought about launching a product or launching a service and and you think it's ready to go to lunch but go to lunch and then but you haven't done all the necessary steps to make sure that the production for this product can keep up with the demand? So that's something that you may have to want to think about because you don't know how many people may respond to your product that you have out there. And if you only set a goal, a, a goal for 10 people to, to, to have it and a thousand people come, you've just lost out on all of those prospects for your company. So I, I'm going to take this a little step further from my Popeye's fiasco. And I'm going to look at it like this. 
you have a main stain in with this product, which is you're right production should keep up with the de with the demand doc you are so right about that i'm gonna think about this for chick-fil-a if chick-fil-a had any doubt that they were about to be dethroned from you know the chick as being the chicken sandwich king because of the production fiasco they have nothing to worry about because what you can expect when you go over there is the same consistency every time i have never once gone to that business and they have been out of something that they sell i don't care what it is they have always had production that kept up with their demand and that's what you need to make sure that you have in your business i don't care what you are selling you could be selling a chicken sandwich in the case that we're making tonight you could be selling clothes because i'm standing right here in my boutique you could be you could be selling a something intellectual you could be selling your thoughts you could be selling something that you have visually come up with you could be selling anything you got to make sure that you can deliver on the goods. And if you can't deliver on the goods, that's going to present a problem. It's going to create, it's going to create a significant pro a problem in your business. If you can't keep up with the demand. So Chick-fil-A has something that's, you know, Popeye's just does not have. And that is customer service. And that's another, because that was my original topic that I was going to talk about tonight was like this behavior, this human resource behavior that you're, that the people that are representing, representing you or you should have as a representative of your company, you should be overly accommodating to make sure that your customers are happy. I love this book. It's called Raven Fans. And if you don't have it, you need to put it in your repertoire. In Raven Fans, it, it talks about how you should be going over and above whatever the standard is so that your business look, is, is unique and people want to go out and talk about what you do and how you do it all the time. I do that in, in my businesses. I do that with my a chiropractic business. I do that here in this boutique. People go out and talk about it. I don't have to do much advertising in my business. People always say, you don't have any commercials. You don't have you don't have any radio ads. You don't have any of those things. No, I don't. But I get people coming in the door every day, every day. And that's because people are out there talking about what I'm doing in my businesses. So if you if you don't have if you don't have good customer service if you're not if you're not going over beyond to make your people feel like rock stars and that's just a term that i use in my practice all my patients are are rock stars whether it's the senator that's coming in whether it's a uh, someone that everybody knows of a celebrity or if it's just uh, the my favorite plumber that comes into my office, I treat each and every one of them like they are a rock star because we all are rock stars. And if you do that, you will create a buzz in your business where everybody is going to want to come over, the, over there and everybody's going to want to get what you have. So let's learn something from Popeyes, y'all. I know earlier when I came on, I was a little silly of, silly about it, but I was really upset because it made me realize that we can't put something out there and not have it for all to be able to enjoy. So um, again, I'm Dr. Nisa. You have tuned in to align your business. And um, and during the time when you're when we're together, if you have questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. If you have friends that or family that you know that can really use some of the information that we're talking about, you know, put them down, you know, put them down in the comment section, share it on your page. That way they'll get to see it. And also make sure you tune in um, again next Thursday at seven, because I'll be back on um, every Thursday, seven o'clock. And also um, make sure that you go like my page. You can like my page at Dr. Nisa. It's D-R-N-I-S-S-A-D-C. And you can um, you can do that on Instagram as well as on Facebook.
And so we want to make sure that we keep this information out because I'm one of those type of business uh, persons that I don't hide information. I like to share it with others. I want to see all of us eat. All right. So thank you so much for tuning in and goodbye.